How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the series. This is episode 11 of the Dremel Survival Guide. And this is the base we've built so far. Those of you who are new to the series, we've been doing a lot of building and a lot of exploration as well. And in this episode, I'd like to give you all a few tips on how to improve the look of your base. So this episode is going to be all about base decoration. I'm going to be going all around the base, adding some decoration. And I'll be giving you my thought process and a few pointers on how to improve the look of your base. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. And if you're enjoying the series so far, please consider subscribing to the channel guys. Really help a lot, really support the channel. And if you like what this video has to offer, you can go ahead and check out my other videos in the series. So tip number one is all about paths. So if you have a base with multiple buildings or structures in them, it's a good idea to connect them all using paths. You can make paths using a variety of blocks and the simplest path can be created by right clicking on a grass block. But here I decide to make an alternating pattern of andesite and diorite to make like this checkerboard pattern and I'm making a circular junction in the middle so that it can connect to the other buildings. And you can see how the andesite and diorite they complement each other. One is a grayish block and the diorite a slightly more lighter block. So they have this checkerboard pattern going on and it looks really good. Next I'm gonna connect the sheep pen and the cow pen to the junction that I made. And I'll link all of them up with the same pattern of blocks that I've been using. The path seems to be looking a little flat because the grass immediately transitions into the diorite and the checkerboard pattern so it looks a little bit unnatural. So in order to give it a bit more depth I'm adding cobblestone on the sides, cobblestone slabs. So they just add that level of you know texture, a le level of depth to it so it looks like there isn't a garish difference between the grass and the checkerboard pattern. And I'm going to be using stone bricks from the junctions to each of the farms that I've set up. And in my opinion, paths look way better in bigger bases. So the more buildings and structures you have, go ahead and add those paths because it's going to look a lot better. And you might run into a situation like this where the pathway isn't perfectly matching up to the building or the entrance of the structure that you're trying to link it up with. So don't be afraid to go ahead and break a few blocks and make sure the entrances line up perfectly with the path that you're trying to make. And don't worry about if any of the sheep try to escape because I have this sharpness free sword just waiting for them to get executed and no sheep can escape my sheep farm. And now the entrance is looking a lot better after it's linked with that path. Next I'm gonna have to do a little bit of terraforming. I want this part of the wall to connect to the other end. I'm trying to keep the same pattern that I had used in the earlier episode. I'm using cobblestone blocks for the base and cobblestone walls for the top so that it has, has a little bit of variation to it. I'm gonna replace a few of these blocks in the middle so it has a little bit of variation as well. And here in the middle of the path, I'm going to add an archway. This is going to help us connect the two parts of the base, the bottom and the top. And this is my tip number two on building staircases. So whenever you have an elevation difference within your base, it's a good idea to have a gradual transition. And the way I accomplish this is by putting half block slabs between the elevation change. Alternatively, you can use stair blocks to achieve this. But here I'm using slabs because I'm going for a less steep look. So you just want to use whatever suits your build. If you want a steeper elevation, you got to use stair blocks. And if you want something less steep, you can go ahead and use slabs. Either way, they're going to make your base look a lot better and have a lot more depth to it. And you can already see, simply by adding those paths, our base looks way better than when we started this video. And here I'm using wall blocks to make it look like they are pillars on the sides of this wall. And those pillars are using the cobblestone brick block which is part of the quark mod which may or may not be familiar to some of you. 
and stone brick stairs for the archway. That arch is already looking pretty good but I'm gonna add just one finishing touch to it to make it look just a tad better. You see by replacing those full blocks with wall blocks and adding these trapdoors, the build looks a lot better. So even in your build guys, always try to add variations instead of using the same block for the entire part of the wall, try to add different size blocks like staircases, wall blocks, full blocks and in combination with each other they look a lot more aesthetic in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and finish the remaining part of this retention wall that I've built here. If you notice I've added a combination of cobblestone and cobblestone brick blocks to make it look varied. And hello from where did you guys show up? And I keep getting raided by these illagers. These patrols they just show up out of nowhere and attack me, my peaceful village. Why can't you just leave me alone? And it seems one of them dropped a crossbow which helps me get the achievement old Betsy and it seems like it started to rain guys is it just me or does this shader pack make it look really gloomy when it starts to rain but I guess I'll just have a nap to make the rain rain go away and all these scary mobs have spawned outside my house I'm just gonna go ahead and kill them all real quick Next I'm gonna harvest all of these spruce trees cause spruce wood is one of my favorite types of wood and I'll be using them in a lot of projects to come. I decided to add one more layer of wall blocks over here so the retaining wall has a little bit more depth and blends a bit more with the ground. So here's another tip for you guys is to add a lot of leaves to your build. So if you're building a modern house or a medieval castle, doesn't matter. Leaves guys, they just work. They work equally well in all sorts of builds. And just like in real life, adding foliage to a structure makes it look a lot better. It adds a little bit of color and accenting to what would normally be monotonous tones like grey or brick. And with some shaders on, it looks really good because of that animated wavy motion. And leaves work for indoor decoration too. So in this part of the base there's a random hill that comes out of nowhere and I was wondering what to do with it. So with a little bit of terraforming done I decided to make another one of those archways. But this one's gonna look a little bit more worn out and a little bit more used. Like I want these stairs to look like they're part of some ancient ruin. And they were here before I even started building this base. And a block I like to use to help me achieve that effect is mossy cobblestone. You can get the mossy variant of a lot of stone blocks. And adding these blocks to a stone structure makes it look a little bit more time worn and a bit overgrown. And a tip I'd like to share with you guys, if you have moss on the wall already and you add it to the floor adjacent to the wall, so it looks like that moss is continuing to the floor and it adds a little bit more natural look to it. And as you can see, simply by adding that staircase on the side makes our base smoothly transition into the hill that previously looked like it was coming out of nowhere. And I'm just gonna carry on the same pattern on this side of the hill to just go ahead and complete this wall. So here I'm adding dirt to this empty area to make it a little bit more level with the land so that I don't get a really steep transition into the hill. Next I'm gonna connect the path that we have to this flight of stairs and it's gonna go between the cow shed and the sheep pen. Mm. 
and this part right here looks a little bit weird so I'm gonna cover it up with some slabs now that part of the build is looking a lot better let me just sprinkle a few leaves in here add some leaves around the back of the build And I think I'm gonna just let a random tree grow over here. And my next tip has got to do with furniture. You can use stair blocks like these to make chairs and benches. Next up I'm gonna craft up some signs with the spruce that I had gathered earlier. And you can use the signs on the side of the chairs to make it look like armrests. And there you have it guys, a bench. Next I'm gonna use a red dye to make the wool from the sheep red wool. And you can use two wool blocks like so to make carpet. Place a carpet on a fence post to make a table. You can keep adding fence posts and carpet to make it as big as you want. For my base, I'm just going to keep this table for two here and add these signs on the side for armrests. A few flowers around the place for some decoration and I wake up to see these guys raiding my base. Will these pillager raids never stop? Oh I'm sorry, they aren't pillagers, they are Mikmari. According to the lore of Dremal, they are Mikmari. So you gotta call them that and not pillagers, okay? Well anyway, back to the guide. My next tip is making lampposts around your base. Yeah, you do have the option of spamming torches all over the place. But is that the kind of base you really want? And to make the lampposts look really snazzy, we're gonna need one of these. You've probably seen the pillagers drop them, their banners. And we're gonna use these banners to make our lampposts look a lot better. So once you make a banner, all you gotta do is put it on a loom, which you can craft along with any color of dye and just like that you can get a lot of patterns to add into your banner the patterns they overlap with each other so you can add one pattern on top of the other to make a really interesting banner for our village or for our base right now we're gonna be using the pattern that you see on screen it's a really simple pattern inspired by the knights of the nine from oblivion but you can go ahead and do what you want there are tons of websites that give you interesting combinations of colors to make really amazing patterns. I highly recommend checking those out as well. And for this base of mine, I'm going to be using this pattern with the red diamond in between and the orange accent on the top. It looks kind of the Knights of the Nine and it reminds me of that village from Oblivion if you've played the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, and those banners look so beautiful on the lampposts. Before I spam banners around the base, I'm gonna build a small barbecue pit on the side of the cow shed. So it looks like we're using the beef from the cow shed to have barbecues. And this place is looking kind of like a picnic area. And a small chest on the side to keep all of the extra meat that we're gonna harvest from the cows. And you can use this neat little trick with the campfire where you place the campfire under the smoker and it looks like the smoker is always cooking something. And that's how you make your barbecue area functional and aesthetic at the same time. A few more banners around the place, a few more lampposts and some banners on them as well. And now our base is starting to look really good. And one more structure I want to share with you guys is a well. Not only does it add aesthetic to the base, but it also functional as well. I'm going to show you how you can make an unlimited water source. And of course, you don't need the blocks above it. Those are just decoration. But you just need three empty blocks for an unlimited water source. And this guide is a little bit more focused on how you can make that water source look a lot more prettier. And in order to attach the bucket to the well, we're going to need a chain and you can craft chains in minecraft using the recipe on screen 
chains in minecraft have a few uses but for now i'm gonna be just using it for decoration for an unlimited water source you put the water like so and another bucket on the diagonal end and bam that's an unlimited water source you can keep using buckets to take out water and it's gonna refill itself i'm just gonna go ahead and make that a little bit deeper and i'm using a cauldron that i had crafted earlier for the bucket because you can't use minecraft buckets unfortunately as a block they are only entities And there you have it guys, a functional yet aesthetic looking well and I must say it looks really good with the rest of the base. You can use stairs to make this kind of inset pattern on the ground. It looks kind of like rain gutters or just decorative flooring if you want, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah and I think this kind of pattern looks pretty nice with this well. And what have we here? We have Minecraft's biggest scammer. These guys. They offer you ridiculous trades, but they do have one thing that I really like. But they will never trade you that one thing. Because just like real life scammers, they don't show you what they really have. They don't show you the best thing that they have. They're gonna just show you all the scam products that they all have on sale and they're gonna overcharge you for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the scammer what he truly deserves and that is my shiny sword on his face and his two pets are gonna try to attack us but I think I can take them down pretty easily. I feel sad for these llamas but they're gonna just keep attacking me so I'm gonna take them out as well. And the prize that we're gonna get from this guy is the lead. The lead is a really useful item you can use to get animals to where you want them. You can use leads to transport your animals even through the nether. And that is how the base is looking now. After we've decorated, added paths, that retaining wall and a few lampposts. If you learn anything during this episode, consider leaving us a like and subscribe for more. This has been Blackheart with Sakura Streams. God bless you all and stay safe.